Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with Roxy Creations um, weekly challenge and I'm trying to remember what week it is, 26, 27, I don't know, it'll be in the title. So anyway, this time it's the little postcard envelopes and so let's say hi and hugs and we'll just get started on these. Hi and hugs to Nancy, Dream, Carolyn, and Brenda. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments and everything. Okay, so here we go. Um, on the postcards, what I have here is these are the ones that Rachel put on her shop. They are, um, of course, they are beautiful and, uh, and wonderful. And we, so we'll use some of those. But I also had these postcards that I had printed out from the collaboration between Tracy Fox, Love Junk Journals, and Jessica Rapp, Two Silver Oranges. And um, this is part of their Eclectica kit. And so um, I, I had these printed. I thought I'd have them at hand too to, to maybe do a little bit. And then these are from one of my digitals on Cinnamon Tea, which is the Vintage Envelopes digital. And I thought it might be fun to do a couple of those too. So a little variety there for the postcard base. And then I have grabbed as much as I could here. I've got I've got a Edith Holden book. I've got these um, these flower papers that were gifted to me. I have got oh gosh, what else do I have? I have um, a bigger a bigger country diary, and I have these. These are my 1907 recipes um, digital. I thought I might do that. Oh, and then this one is one of Rachel's. Um, uh, antique book page digitals or something. Okay. And then I also printed out, I have these labels from Rachel. These are her antique labels kit. So I think I have what I need. I don't know. I have Mr. Alfie dog here right by my feet. He's, he's sniffing my old books. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I want to do here, but we're just gonna we're gonna go for it. Um, and let's just let's just grab a page. Let's just rip in. You know, I have to leave the sensibilities at the door. Okay, we're gonna use this one. So, what? Are any of the look at that? That's the perfect size. That's one of my letters. We'll we'll start with that. How about? So I'm going to um, cut off the little bit of glue. Oh, he's so sweet. He's sitting right by my feet all curled up. I just love this dog. He'll, he'll be happy there until I jump up to go get something, won't he? <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it's just comforting to have my, have my voice nearby. I hope so. Okay, so yes, because um, his his paw is off to the off to the recycle center. Okay, so I'm gonna need to cut off a bit of this. I guess we'll get in, we'll get in a rhythm here in a minute, <laughs> any minute now. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut off a bit of this. Oh, that's cute. It's good scrap right there. Okay, and then um, I'm going to put a thumb hole in it. This particular one was already inked, but I will give it a little on the thumb hole. Okay, and then that's going to go, so that's going to go with that. And then be folded down. The Edith Holden will be upside down, but that's okay. We'll just decorate over it. Okay, so there's one. I'm just going to make up a bunch of bases first, and then we'll go from there, okay? Sound like a plan? Okay, well, we might as well do this Edith Holden page, too. So pretty. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to have anything that fits it properly, but... 
see if this does. It's close. So I'll just take a little off each side of the envelope and I should be good. So I hope you're all having a good day so far. I am. Oh, whoop, went too far. Of course I did. That's okay. We'll just... Just cut it down a little bit on the page now <laughs> back and forth it's like the haircut where you're you get your bangs crooked and you just keep cutting and pretty soon they're like this long oh goodness okay yeah I've got to keep my cutter right here I can see that okay I'm just gonna do the thumb hole and set it aside we won't we won't ink necessarily what I might do is just ink here I don't know we'll see when we get to decorating okay so there we go for Edith hold it let's look at let's look at these ones well this one this one's a bit wider so that's well, a little bit too long I'm ending up using mine, aren't I? This one's neat. Yeah, that's nearly, nearly the right size. So we're just going to get, unless I move it up, I'll move it up. I'm going to do right about right about there. Okay. I'm not sure this was cut particularly straight. But Okay, I feel like I'm taking an inordinately long amount of time to make these bases, but that's okay, I guess. We'll just, we'll just keep going. Ooh, I was thinking this one would be good. So let's do that. Um know up in here I think it would be nice with this one of Rachel's I didn't cut these out because you know I didn't know what all I was going to use but it only take me a second and I just printed these on my um, 28 pound Red River because I figured it's an envelope it's fine the others were already uh, already on cream cardstock from Hobby Lobby. The light stuff, that's what goes through my printer. So that's what I use. I wonder, could I get two out of this? Ooh, I could, because I was looking at this one's, this one's good too. So I was thinking this morning, as I was in the shower, I was thinking about this project. And I have to say my favorite thing about, um, about Rachel's challenge is that it's just relaxing and fun. You know, it's just the projects aren't so, oh, geez, now I have to do this, 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 and this. And I don't know if I'm going to, you know, am I going to be able to do this and that kind of stuff. You know, it's just, it's just good fun. It's what it is. Okay. So I think I want them up here maybe. Yeah. I'm going to cut it right there in my bigger cutter. 
What was I thinking? Yep, right there. Like that. And I don't know. We might be able to make that into one too. Um, and um, yeah, I could have could have maybe gone up higher and okay, well, that's all right. We'll just we'll just do this. Just do this thing. Don't want to be fussing around too much about it. Because I want to make a whole bunch of these. I think that'll be fun. And okay. We didn't thumb hole those, but that's okay. We can do that later. Let's see. This then I think I'd go like this maybe I don't know so two more here's a couple with a green stamp let's just let's just do those um yeah, so anyway, that's my favorite thing about this challenge is it's just relaxed. It's, it's you know, the projects are pretty straightforward and easy. And the other thing um, is, you know, you can make quite a few. And so then you've got a little stash of whatever it is you're making. So I don't know. I'm... I'm really enjoying it, Rachel. Just wanted to kind of see height wise. Okay, so we'll just do these two here, and the, it, they'll just have a little bitty, um, a little bitty flap. But I think that's okay. It's a good way to use this book page scrap, I think. There's another one. And then this one. Just need to get a little bit off the edge. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's do one with this. This would be fun. Actually, the other thing I printed out, this is from my vintage Christmas postcards kit. Um, like this one says, Merry Xmas. <laughs> Remember when they used to do Xmas? So, um, I don't know. I was just thinking that'd be pretty with it. Let's do that. Kind of funny to be thinking about Christmas, isn't it? But, you know, we crafters end up making Christmas things be well before so that people can use them during the season. And for craft sales and that sort of stuff. So I was thinking about going something like that. So I am going to cut this. And then we'll have this to use in as we decorate too, I think. I thought what I'd do is um, make the bases for a little bit here and then um, let's see, I'm going to go down here. Make the bases for a little bit and then, you know what? I want to Hang on. I'm scared Alfie. Okay, I'm just gonna deco the edge of this. I think that'd be fun. Just had that thought. <laughs> Get in there. Um I'm just gonna deco that edge a little bit. Okay. Good stamping strip. Gonna have to have a little session there. Ah, uh, I forget what I was saying. 
Oh, well, it happens. Oh, yeah, I want it down here. Hello, Gail. Get too fancy with the bases. I'm not going to get very many done, am I? Big sigh, Alfie. That's a big sigh, buddy. Okay. Um. Let's see. What else did we want to do? I wanted to. Do, I got that done. That done. That done. Now let's do one of these. This is my um my recipe. Let's do uh Jessica and maybe. One looks good with it. Maybe we'll just do a plain one. Fish. Eh, I don't like that very much. Oh, for crying out loud, Gail, make a decision. I'm just going to do that. We'll just do that. Okay. So let's see, that's going to be upside down, but that's not a big deal. So let's get you right about there. And then it would help if I could have some coordination this morning. So first thing this morning, the guys for lawn, lawn guys came. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we're going to call that good for now. And we have these at the ready should we want to do some more. But I want to have plenty of time to fuss around decorating and stuff too. Um, so yeah, first thing this morning, the guys came to aerate the yard. Which... I guess it's important for a yard, but I have to say, it kind of looks like a herd of geese were in our yard. <laughs> There's geese poop everywhere. Oh, it's just, just kind of, but yeah, so I'm in my jammies at the breakfast table. And I said to Mike, you don't think he can see in, do you? <laughs> He's, he's it's not gonna be pretty is what I'm saying oh goodness but yeah so that was a rude awakening if people weren't awake in the neighborhood they are now okay all the holes are punched that's good I'm gonna have hole punches on Alfie's fur Okay, so then should we just, you know what I think I'll do is I'll um, distress the edge and then I'll glue them all. Kind of do these in mass make sort of fashion. And I'm not going to worry about, unless I can't decide how to decorate it without inking it, I won't ink the whole card so that I don't take up your time with that. But yeah, we could have we could have a whole batch here, couldn't we? That'd be fun. Don't know if I'll decorate this Christmas one because I don't have any of my Christmas stuff out, but you know, I can get it made anyway. I do kind of like the cardstock with them. It's just a little bit more, um, a little more sturdy. So, if that helps as a hint at all. And that first one is inked. So we're good there. And now we can glue. 
glue them all and then we'll fold them over and stuff. So we'll just glue on the three sides. Sorry. Been forgetting to tap down my glue, haven't I, Jamie? I'm sorry. Give it a tap tap. Okay, we gotta make sure we have the right sides that we want. I'm just gonna get my little, get a little card here and make sure they're good and pressed down. Okay, and then those can dry. We'll just keep going. So supposed to be once again crazily hot here. Again. So but yesterday it was it was really really hot but in my hammock. <laughs> it was lovely. Cuz it was in the shade and there was a slight breeze blowing and it was just balmy and just kind of makes you sleepy because it's so so warm and I like the pink just a pink girl Oop. okay there's one this one But I didn't fall asleep because, let's see, how am I doing this? This way, Gail. Um, I didn't fall asleep because one of our squirrels was in the birdhouse on the tree that's like kind of close to my um, hammock. And so I couldn't fall asleep because I was scared he was going to jump on my head. So... But he was keeping an eye on Alfie, I'll tell you what. It's like, yes. I mean, I like the squirrels. I like watching them do their little romping around and stuff. But I don't like that in the winter they eat my my um, upholstered patio furniture. I told Mike, this is, this is like the second set of furniture that they've this way um that they've eaten and so I said you know I think we're done with upholstered furniture I love it because it's so comfy to sit out there and you know sink in and stuff but but it's no good if let's see Ooh, I'm out struggling I really love that let's do that side um you know, it's we spend that kind of money on that stuff and then it gets destroyed. That's no good. So, okay. Let me see. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I don't know what I want out there. I and really, we have room for kind of a, either a little, what would you say, conversation area or a table and chairs. And we don't eat outside. I don't like to eat outside because the bugs bother me and stuff. <laughs> As I've said before, not an outdoorsy girl. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I was just thinking with this one, I could actually cover up the Christmas with a decoration and then it can just be anytime. I think that's what I might do. Um, tap, 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 Jamie. Got it. Um, anyways, 
yeah, so I don't know. Okay, so now let's start at the bottom and fold, fold these over. And we'll go a little bit above. So there's that one. Isn't that pretty when you open it up and it's got those flowers? Oops, from the bottom, Gail, from the bottom. Then this one's going to have the words, but again, the pretty flowers are very fun. Let's see, let's move that over slightly. Okay, there's that one. This one's going to be a little tougher to fold because it's thick, but, but not that tough. Ooh, I like that one too. Okay. And this one. I'm not gonna have I could have made I could have made that a little longer, but that's alright. There's enough to fold over. And we'll see on these. This is gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, it's going to work. It's just a little flap. Tiny flap. Teeny tiny flap. Same here. But it works. Good. So we really utilize that page. with the little yellow flower that came out neat and then this one which I also really like I mean like you don't really need to do anything there okay so we have three six we have nine envelopes to to decorate now how are we doing time wise let me just check Oh, perfect. I was kind of thinking about a half an hour of making the bases and then a half an hour of decorating. Okay, well, let's do this one. I really, I love this. And so, but you know, if we put a flower or something over that, then, okay, we are going to need, I think we're going to need flowers. I mean, most of these are floral, so... For the most part, we'll do flowers probably. Um, so I would like something that kind of really accents that. Um, and I do have cut out here somewhere Rachel's flowers. Because you know, I do like to use her stuff in these projects. Also kind of wondering about these. No, not peach. Yeah, I don't think those are the right colors. That's not the right color. Put in there. Um. Hmm. Oh gosh, Alfie's making me sleepy. He's snoring. What about? About something like that kind of angle it yeah I like that okay good 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 so 
we'll do that. Oh yeah, and then you put a label on the back. Can't forget to do that. Well, there we go. And we'll just cover that up and no one will ever know it was a Christmas one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is cute. I don't know that I want anything else on there, but a label for the back. And I did kind of want to use Rachel's labels if I can. Just, I love that one. I'll be honest, that's what sold me on these labels was this one. So we'll see if it goes well on here. I'll get these fussy cut out so that I just have them available, but I just printed them last night. Oh, it was so hot last night. And we couldn't open the windows, you know, until it got later until like about, I feel like it blends in too much now that I've got it there. Let's get some of our cut labels and have that at the ready here too. Um, anyway, so I got up and printed those labels because I was like, I'm not going to be able to sleep anyways. It's too hot. That's pretty. We'll go with that. I'll try and not be too fussy about it. So anyway, yeah, so I got up and, because in the basement here, it's cool. So I got up and downloaded the postcards and labels and thought, Rachel's such a smart business lady because, you know, she's doing this, doing this um, challenge and using her digitals. And so, of course, we have to have her digitals. And so, yeah, I was like, you know, that's really smart. She's just through her, through her challenge, driving people to her Etsy. Super smart business lady. So there's that one. And I love it. So fun, Rachel. So fun. Okay. This one now. I need something there, definitely. I was thinking about maybe a little bit of this. And as usual, I'll be taking longer because I have to, because I have to ink things. Um, glue. Glue book. We'll put that right down in the corner there. Okay, I like that. I don't want anything more than that. I'd like maybe something yellow right here, something. Like something like that. Yes. That's what we want. It's what we want, Alfie. It's a good boy. Such a good boy. Honestly, this dog, I'm telling you guys, he is the best dog we have ever been around. I mean, he, 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 you know, he just, he never misbehaves. He's just, I mean, you can leave things on the floor. He won't bother him. He's just, he's just an amazing dog. I mean, my daughter's very good at training dogs. And so he's, he's trained up really well, but gosh, he's a good dog. 
just and you know he complies with everything he's just he's amazing really you're amazing buddy and i love him <laughs> can you tell oh there's a green mm, no this one's a postage one anyways let's see I have these from Triple V Vintage. There's a green one in here I'm wanting to look at here. Darn it. It kind of blends in a bit too much. That's too bad. Okay, well that's alright. It's not a 6, it's a 9, but you know me, I turn <laughs> I turn my numbers upside down all the time. The ones that can be turned upside down, I will do it. Oh, let's see. What would we, what would be good on this one? That's one of Rachel's. Don't think I want green. I think I have established that I don't want green. It blends in too much. About this one is. You know, if I ink around that, I think that one will be okay. Let's just go for it. I'm trying not to be too picky here. Boy, do I have a mess down that way. All the bits and pieces I needed for the project. That'll be fine. This one's on a label, so that's cool. Okay, I'm just going to put it kind of smack in the middle. Okay, there's that one. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so now this one. I like how when you open them up and they have the flowers there. That's really cool. Um, this one I feel like could use something down here. I wonder, um, sorry guys, I'm just getting my little scrappy tray here. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I'm going to put that on there and then I'll cut it off. Because I want to be able to see the name there. But I really like those colors with it. This is a scrap from Janie B. Journals. Okay, I'm going to keep, keep this one and dry it. Turn it over and let it dry. Okay, I really like that. Oh, what if... I'm going to put that there. that. Um, I kind of like some sort of a word label across here, I think. Um, oh, look. I have these phrases from uh, Pink Monarch. Butterfly. No. Pink Monarch. What is it? Pink Monarch Prince. <laughs> Embrace the possibility. I like that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Pink Monarch. 
like, what is it? What is it? We have had the monarchs flying through. We are, I think, we're on their migration route. And, I mean, it doesn't matter what time of day you're in our yard, there's monarch butterflies. It's just awesome. I love that. <clears throat> oh, it's a label. This girl, she just plans ahead when she's printing, doesn't she? Oh, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you feeling a little seasick? Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, let's just get you back. But... I'm telling you, guys, I can't move my chair. Alfie is right on me. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I did that to you, so <laughs> we were due. Okay, okay, I like that. Like that, okay. And then this, we need a label on the back. Oh, where's the one I cut out from Rachel? Is that... Need some, oh, I know which one I'll use on that. Okay, I have a plan in my brain. Oh, I kind of like the red. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, so he's right over on my side, and I can't move my chair. I can't move, basically. And so this elbow is like right up on the on the filming arm. So, yeah. <laughs> but I love having him down here. And he he doesn't come down here if Mike's home. He's upstairs with Mike. So, this is a treat. <laughs> Maybe not for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I really like that one too. Okay. Awesome. So, where's my one? Did I already do it? I already did it. Where do you do it? Where is it? Where's my one with the... Uh... Here, this one. I didn't already do it. I'm thinking this one... Yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> you know, I don't have that much room between my tables anyway. And um, I have all my stuff from my World Bazaar journal, all the beads and trims and stuff on the floor over there. And then the mister has, he's like laying out with his legs straight. <laughs> you know I'm here, Nana? Nana, do you know I'm here? <laughs> oh, so fun. I am so grateful to our daughter for sharing him. Yeah, so they're flying down to Phoenix just today as we speak. Um, so we'll, I think tomorrow the volleyball starts. So I've been diligently trying to get videos done. I love this flower. want to do that? I think I might. So anyway, yeah. Um, and I mean, Alfie could totally go to a kennel or whatever, but why when he's got his Nana and Pa who love him? I love all my grand dogs. My son's dog is um his name is prince and he's a cockapoo and then my middle daughter hers is a golden doodle peyton and then <laughs> my youngest daughter guys she just got a giggle because she's just so funny the um their dog is uh is a rescue mutt who knows but she looks a little bit like a hyena. <laughs> she 
she's tiny, but she's got really long legs and she's just so out of proportion. That's hilarious. So that's Lucy girl. So, yep. They've of course had dogs while they were growing up. And so they're all dog people. Well, my son, not so much, but his, his wife and kids are. And so my son's allergic. So um, having the, the cockapoo is a good thing. Cause There we go. Okay, that's good. Now I would like a little old book page right here, I think. Um, oh, I have in my scrap bin here. I should have some. Oh, there's Pa, buddy. He's home. You don't care, do you? You're comfortable where you are. I love it. Okay, I need my tarot. Oh. Okay, I'm reaching over the abyss and the dog. fun we don't have nearly this much fun on a normal day when I don't have Mr. the Mr. with me. Just gonna put that there and then a little label I think is what I'm gonna do. Um gosh these are so fun. And then what I'll do is the ones I don't get done, we'll just put it in the not done basket and do them another day or something. Okay, and then I want like just a little label right there. I might have to go in my other spot bought for a little label. I don't know. There's some little ones. I think I might want a little smaller than that. Oh, what about this? Twill do, twill do, twill do. Oops. An errant leaf. Well, I think I'm done with the coffee dyeing for the week because we have a funeral to go to tomorrow and want to start cleaning stuff up for when my kids come. Oh, and then I want something over that because it's upside down. How about a little, a little piece of lace? I was thinking. Yep, I'm just going to put that little piece of lace right there. Yeah. Yeah, I've told my daughter before I want in my next life I want to come back as one of her dogs. <laughs> oh. He sleeps with my youngest granddaughter on her bed and so he doesn't do that here he sleeps on the floor but there's that one. Oh, these are so fun I think we might have time for one more should we do like one of these let's do this one hmm don't I don't know exactly what I want to do oh I kind of like that across there what if we did that um 
don't know. Just don't. Ooh, there's these. No. That's kind of cool. Let's play with that a little bit. Oh, go go out up and see Pa. Okay, see you later, buddy. Oh, stretch it, stretch it out. <laughs> oh yes, that was a good nap though, wasn't it, hun? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that up there and then just cut off the bottom. I don't want to cover up the postmark because that's fun because it's 1941. And I don't want to cover up the Helena, Montana. And so I think that's going to work just fine. Yep, off he goes. He's going to go check out what Pa's up to. That was fun. That was a treat. is I kind of think I want like some text or something right there which I could do I think Mike's starting to do some cooking for the fourth weekend I realize you're seeing this when are you seeing this Oh, yeah, you're seeing this before the 4th, I think. I'm getting mixed up on my... I'm mixed up on my days of filming because um, I had to get... I had to be able to see Rachel's... Um, I had to be able to see her video before I could do this, obviously. Oh, you're still down here. Hi. Hi. What do you think, buddy? Oh, he's just going to lay down over there. That's good. Still keeping me company, just giving me a little space to work. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Four. Under there. Okay, there is that. Something. Um, ooh, I haven't used any of these. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Okay, now what to do with this? You know what might be fun is a little trim of some sort. And I can actually get to them because the mister has moved. Okay, so um, this, I can, these are my, all my digitals in this little book. And I'm wondering, look at this one. I hate to cover up all of the Edith Holden, but I don't like it upside down either. Um, how about this one? I 
think I'm going to go with that. That's kind of pretty on there, I feel like. Okay. All right. Let's see. So I'm going to definitely distress that. takes those little white bits out where you're trying to fussy cut around that ruffle. So you guys, I'm going to do a little tour at some point here to once I kind of get things pulled together um, of my kind of uh, an update on my arm's length of my crafting area because I um <clears throat> I got the project cart the we are memories project cart and I am loving it so it has like it has like changed my life in this area of the room it's awesome so um I wanted to wanted to show you guys and it's on my, I got it on my favorite things. I got it. My son got it on my favorite things. Okay. Well, that is, that is just pretty. It's just fun. Okay. We just need a big label on the back and then we're done with this one. Um, I don't know if we have anything. I think I'll go to the book. This kind of, this is a nice way to use some of your bigger labels too. This one. New. You know what might be fun for a change is a little doily and a label. Let's do it. Why not? This doily is from Rachel's shop too, Roxy Creations. Well, I have had a ton of fun with this challenge. This is really a fun one to do. I have three more to decorate, so we got six decorated. Isn't that about the number we end up doing? Um... It seems like on this challenge in our hour. I don't know why I put these on cardstock, but I did. Yep, I think this is the best spot for it. Um, yeah, so I'll show them to you up close real quick. Okay, so there we go. And I can push my chair back because the dog's gone. <laughs> so there's the back of that one. And there's the front. I love that. I think that's so cute. This one. Isn't it so fun when they turn out like you want them to? And I just have to ink around them. This one. And you could sew the edges too. I'm not going to on these. I, I think they're fine as, as they are. This one, I really like this one too. And then this one. Oh, that was fun. Thank you so much, Rachel, for your wonderful inspiration, your challenge, all the work you've put into this. It's just awesome. So what did we end up with? Oh, I have four more to do because we have, f I only got five done. So there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.